by five, we're learning more about the man police say was behind an hours long standoff at a Louisville Walmart. You're going to hear why his family says he isn't getting the help that he needs. Plus, a man shot several times at a Waffle House on Dixie Highway right in the middle of the day. The victim's son tells us what went down. And a trailer theft over the weekend has police trying to connect the dots to a series of thefts in the town of Brooks. Your news at five starts now. This is Wave News at 5. And thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Myra Ansari. I'm John Bull. A Louisville man is back behind bars after an hours-long standoff with police. 30-year-old Raymond Heenan has a history of offenses, but also a history of military service. Wave News reporter Sean Bowdy shows us why his own parents filed for a protective order against him, but still worry about his well-being. Raymond Heenan was arrested again Sunday. Police say he escaped house arrest, leaving an ankle monitor behind. LMPD didn't know where he was until they found him in a stolen car at the Walmart parking lot in Fairdale. After ramming the stolen car into officers' vehicles, police say they were able to bring him in. Heenan was on home incarceration for violating an emergency protective order filed against him by his mother and stepfather. They tell me their son's in the middle of a mental health crisis and has on several occasions threatened their lives. I had to call 911 uh, two or three times and it'd take him like 30 or 35 minutes to get here and by then he would already be gone. Rick Bahannon says his stepson is an army veteran who turned to a life of drugs post-service. Our government has failed our soldiers. Bahannon says Heenan was staying at the Healing Place, a rehab facility downtown, when he just walked away. You know, these guys put their life on the line and here we are just letting them just walk out of the system and just on down the road by themselves. This is the kind of problem you wind up with. But Hannah believes Heenan is a good person who just isn't getting the help he needs. You know, I understand he's done some stuff. He's got to pay for what he's done, but I don't want him to just ruin his life, though. Despite the threats on he and his wife, Bohannon loves his stepson and hopes for the best. All I really want, like I say, is for him to get treatment and to really find the Lord again because that's what he needs. Heenan faces several charges included but not limited to stealing a car, DUI, resisting arrest, and escaping custody. Heenan will be in front of a judge for arraignment when courts open back up on Tuesday. In Louisville, Sean Bowdy, Wave News.